Hi, and welcome to Sprout Studio V3, your checklist. My name is Brian Capricci, and I'm the CEO and founder here at Sprout Studio. And I'm your tour guide through these videos to help you get acquainted and familiar and set up using Sprout Studio V3. In this particular video, the checklist item, the thing that we'd love for you to do uh, to take advantage of some of the new features that we've built for you is to hop in and set up your grouped templates. Basically on every single one of the settings pages, and we talked about this in the full tour video uh, earlier, if you've watched that already, um, you can basically take any of your settings and put them into groups so you can better organize your things in Sprout and not get overwhelmed with just one ongoing list. So for this video, we're gonna walk through how to do that, and I'm gonna encourage you to hop in and do that before you get going any further. So you can see here, I've got one of the pages that's probably the biggest culprit for this one singular list uh, issue. I've got it pulled up. This is the email templates page. Now this can be by default very overwhelming, obviously, because you just have this one long list of a whole bunch of things. And then when you go to choose those, when you're using email templates, you again have one long list of things that are not organized. They're just sorted alphabetically. So to set up grouped templates, uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and click plus here and we're going to add a new group. And so go ahead and add as many of these groups as you want. My recommendation is to um, have groups based on use case. So, you know, what kind of um, space or what kind of client are you dealing with in order to use these different templates and set them up that way. So uh, I might have this one called wedding. And let's just go ahead and pick a color because everything is very pretty for you in here in V3. Let's go ahead, there's wedding. Uh, let's go add another one here, add new group. Uh, we'll call this portrait. And let's go and choose like a nice blue. And let's add another one here called maternity and newborn. And we'll choose a nice color for that, maybe a nice green. And let's add one more called boudoir. And we'll choose a nice well, we'll go down here, we'll use that color, there we go. So now that you have those all set up, uh, you can click any of these, oh, and you know what, sorry I lied, we're gonna do one more, I'm gonna call it generic, uh, or I'll call it general. So these are just like general emails that could be used for anything, we'll make that kind of a nice gray. There we go. So now that you've set all those up, you can click into any of your settings over here, and you go add to group, and then you can choose which group you want to add it to. So I'll go and add that one to general, add to group, general, and I'll just kind of go through here and get things all organized. Okay, and there we are. So now we have them all added. They're all nice and organized. And now I can even collapse them in over here. And now look how pretty and look how beautiful that is to use. And now when you're setting up anything else in Sprout, let's say that we want to go into your payment schedules. Now you can do the same thing there. So you've already got those uh, created. So we can go ahead and add these into those same categories. Again, just to keep things all nice and organized here. And there we go. So that is what I recommend, hopping in, setting up your grouped templates, and that way you can get things a little bit more organized in your Sprout Studio account. <laughs> 